Brothers and sisters in Christ, I have a message for you today that will hopefully encourage you and add a few puzzle pieces to what we're all examining in the body of Christ as children of God, which is time. A lot of brothers and sisters are having dreams about time, transition, twilight zones, time collapsing in on itself, different, different ways of examining and understanding the practical reality that the supernatural is going to break through into the physical realm as per the word of God and as prophesied. These things are discerned by the spirit. The religious Christians are asleep at this time and we ask the Holy Spirit to awaken hearts and minds to see his truth. An awake Christian sees and knows the hands of time speeding by with dangerous speed and the prophesied time drawing near. There is an appeal for those who claim to be believers to awake. In Romans 13, 12, it says, The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Romans 13, 11, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Those who are not walking in the Spirit and Word, it says in 2 Peter 3, 4, they will say, what happened to the promise that Jesus is coming again? From before the times of our ancestors, everything has remained the same since the world was first created. The Word teaches us to be sober-minded, alert, steadfast, watchful, and vigilant, Excuse me, um, and that the enemy roams the earth seeking whom he may devour. The Lord has never asked us to be comfortable and content with anything that this world has to offer. We are sojourners, travelers passing through, but the message that has been driven into the psyches of man and reinforced in every possible way is that you know this life is all there is and in the greatest extent possible they are going to be lulling the masses into a false place of security upon the earth the light has come into the darkness but men loved the darkness and rejected the light it's time now to understand that he is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the reality. This is a fallen matrix reality. Wake up, seek him with all you are. Abandon the time-space continuum of the world. That is the only way that you will make it through the time that now culminates upon the earth. As unclear as this may sound, some of you will have ears to hear. You must escape the clock. You must turn and abandon those things that have shaped your life in this world that has created your reality here the matrix reality you have been sold and packaged as it is framed and limited in its own time measurement and you are to escape through to the true reality outside of time for in him in christ alone is the way the truth the life I do not know the way you say. He is the way. There is no other way out of the world's illusory clock in reality. The humbled are exalted and lifted up, brought to their knees at the cross, hearts humbled knowing and seeing the darkness and depravity within and in the earth time realm. They seek after the kingdom of God first, and in this seeking they have abandoned friendship with the world to travel the dangers of the time transition, to seek after the, the rest which is waiting in the higher life and higher places of the kingdom of God. The least shall be exalted and lifted up once we have traversed through the dangers and obstacles of this transition in time, which we will faithfully overcome and accomplish through him, for we are victorious in our God and King. The child of God will arrive in a place of rest, seated in true heavenly places in him who is our eternal triumph and rest, and we shall come and rule and reign with him as he has decreed.
his children, his family, eternally one body in Christ. In him is no time. In him is eternal life, not measured by man. Even non-believing scientists are acknowledging that time is speeding up. Often things intensify and speed up as they progressively disintegrate and decay the foundations that once held things together. The foundations will teeter and totter and the rot spreads quickly as death is allowed to spread and consume life. There is an appointed time to implement everything that has been purposed from before the foundation of the world. Everything is in place now. He has opened a door that no man can shut. And we have entered in through the door. The door is Christ and we welcome others to enter in by faith. Absolute time shift. I'm going to demonstrate something as basic and key as time he cannot control. The time continuum is in my hands. I shake it. I dismantle it. Those hidden in me who have left the earth time realm behind, who are seated in me in my life, shall not be shaken. They have abandoned the realm of time and spirit and are in the eternal realm. This is how the first separation shall occur. Those remaining in time are separated from those in me. Beloved, fear not, as you are at this moment indwelt with my eternal spirit and life. It is only the discarding of the flesh. It is only the discarding of the flesh that shall manifest, manifest the last vestiges of flesh and time lapse and decay removed. You come forth glorified, Christ in you magnified the manifested sons and daughters of God, as declared and prophesied in the word. You are now hidden away from the world, now coming forth as Father gathers his own, reclaiming his children back to his kingdom and throne. You, beloved, who are eternal in me, time has stopped for you. Time has no hold on you. You are not bound by its barriers, limitations, or controls. You do not operate in this world of time. You are a child of the eternal realm and kingdom. This is only a realm that you visit as you are outside of time. Many of my children by my spirit have been already pulled from this fallen reality, which is passing away and judged. They are walking here while seated in heavenly places. This truly is your reality now manifested, my dear daughters and sons. I bring you forth, my beloveds. Time for you is of no consequence. It is outside of the kingdom. You do not dwell here anymore. You are a child of the kingdom, united in one eternal life and love, in the Son and Savior of love. Your Father brings you home. Rest in me. I will perform what is necessary and it shall be marvelous and glorious in your sight, my children. Father will perform the proper activity at the right time, bringing about God's purposes. All of his beautiful plans for us, his children will be fulfilled. Nothing can prevent the manifestation of the children of God for which all of creation groans. We may not be knowing God's timing, we may be ignorant of it, we may be seeking and searching, but he has said that in these last days he shall be revealing things that were hidden to us and things are being revealed to us, puzzle pieces of reality and life in him that shall be coming forth manifested. We are called to yield to him in the present and we trust in his sovereignty and his perfect plan for us. Psalm 32, sorry, Psalm 31, verse 14 to 15 but I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from my persecutors. Psalm 90, verse 1 to 17. A prayer of Moses, the man of God. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or even you had formed the earth and the world. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You return man to dust and say, Return, O children of man. For a thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday when it is past, or as a watch in the night. You sweep them away as with a flood. They are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning.
Behold, I tell you a mystery, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed, for this perishable body must put on the imperishable, and this mortal body must put on immortality. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 51. There is a scripture verse that talks about how a thousand years is as a day. Father has really revealed to us that a thousand years of joy shall come in a day. Children of God, be strengthened, be encouraged. After this word was received, I don't usually share dreams, but the dream that I had was of a magician. He was performing in front of an audience and he had a butterfly and I've shared the butterfly and a lot of us have shared the butterfly it's a symbol of our transformation and it seems often to me as a butterfly that I have a string attached to my wing and it's tying me down to a boulder to the ground and I desire to be free as my brothers and sisters do in any case the magician um, had this butterfly it was like a puppet Butterfly. It was beautiful. It was all assembled in different pieces, like similar to a puppet that you would see um, that someone once showed me from Thailand. And he was just moving the butterfly around in front of everybody, um, showing how it flutters beautifully. And then at one point, he stood in front of the audience, and I was standing behind observing. And he went up to the audience, and the audience was kind of sleepy. He went up to a girl. She was wide awake, alert. She was looking. She had a pink sweater on. And she was nudging the young man next to her, trying to get him to wake up because he looked very sleepy. And the magician went right up to her, and he um, took the butterfly, and he said to her, I'm going to do an amazing trick for you now. I'm going to make this butterfly disappear. I haven't done this trick in a long time. Um, I've practiced it for half an hour and then he took the butterfly and he had this contraption it looked like an upside down umbrella with like an accordion folds and he took the um, upside down umbrella and he put the butterfly into the umbrella and the contraption folded in on itself and the butterfly disappeared. So I'll just leave that for your discernment. This video is already too long. I just ask Father to bless each of you and strengthen you. Children of God, by His Spirit, we know the truth. He has revealed and brought this truth to our hearts. He is truth and we are united together as a body, each bringing together pieces of His life, love and truth. Never before have we been assembled like this at this time. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might, children of God. Hold on tight, Father's goddess. I love you all. God bless you. Amen.